Now, um, I'm going to use the black foam tape um, foam um, sheets. Flag foam, black foam sheets. Exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to take, this is one of the dice I've got. Now, it may not work, so we will see live on air living dangerously. Um, now what I'm doing is taking the three mil, this is what I'm thinking, I just want to test that it will work over a three millimeter uh, thickness using a wafer thin die. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to put it through my die cutting machine and again I'm taking the low tack tape to secure the die just because I don't want to waste anything in here. Now then run it through your die cutting machine. I'm going to run it once and then if it doesn't work then I'll run it again a second time. But no, it has cut beautifully. Look at that. Look at that. Now, this. If you wanted to do shaker cards, uh, I'm going to do it like this. If you wanted to do shake cards and you have got black cards or you wanted something to create your own foam pasta, you don't have to go around it. This is an essential, absolute essential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of card. Let me grab it uh, here. I have got some black card uh, ready to use. And then I'm going to take it. I think that's, that's the right one. Right, and then I'm gonna run it through. So what I'm creating is the base for my shaker card. So I'm gonna run it through my die cutting machine and it's gonna run it and there you have it. So now this one is a slightly larger because that's gonna go onto it. And then I'm gonna take the same die and I'm gonna take a little bit of acetate. Now these may not cut because acetate is notoriously difficult to die cut. So in order for that, I'm just gonna test it. I'm gonna die cut it with a piece of card. Just so sometimes it helps it to find the uh, brittleness of the paper sometimes helps to die cut better. Sometimes it, oh, it does, has worked. It has worked. Sometimes I do surprise myself when the things turn out the way they should be. Anyway, so you have got here, you can see the acetate piece and the black piece. So what you am gonna do is, um, I've got that. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I know what I didn't do. This is what I should have done. Sorry, apologies for that. I'm just going to die cut the frame again in here. So I'm going to explain exactly what I have done. Now, I have used one of the frames to cut out the foam. I have cut a larger size out of acetate and also out of um, black card. And then I'm going to, all, all of it is going to go into it. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Now, put it your foam into your base, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my, uh, I think I have got here some sequins as well. So I'm just gonna put, before you remove the uh, liner, you just put a little bit of maybe wh whatever you want to put. So I have got some sequins. You could put a, a stamp a secret message or something like that. Then I'm gonna sprinkle some little beads in here as well. Of course, red, black and white is something that of my favorite. And then remove the uh, liner in here. So just make sure that you can find the liner. And there it is. Uh, tweezers do help. And then just put the acetate in here. Uh, well, that's the, yeah, that's a little bit, should be fine. Press down and make sure. And there you have got the structure of the wafer thin card. Now, what I'm going to do then is I have got, where did I put the little, did I put it there? I don't know where I put it. Oh, well. A uh, little, little, um, oh, here it is that one so what happens is like you know how notoriously difficult it is to attach double side anything to um your your um as acetate well here it comes the double-sided adhesive sheets now what you are going to do is you are going to take a piece of it because you don't want to waste a little bit too much and then you are going to take a piece of black card in here and now this is going to create double-sided 
um, card, well not double sided, no card that is sticky on one side. So it's going to put it like this. Remember, this is double sided adhesive sheets. You are getting 20 in, in this pack and they are A4, so they go a long way. And again, I'm going to be using the low tech. I'm making a mess here, am I not? Oh, but a crafty mess is the best. Uh, now I'm going to secure it in with my low tech tape. Remember, it's the purple one. And one of the things I would say with the purple one, if you are going to die cut, is to de tack it first or attach it on the side that is not meant to cut like this. So see, it's, it's absolutely fine, but just be gently with, with it when you pull it up. Now, what I have done is what I wanted is this bit in here that has got, now it is double-sided. So it's a sticky, and not double-sided, it's a sticky. And that will match perfectly, and I don't have any difficulty attaching. But look at that. There it is, shaky card. And of course, you could do the same thing if you wanted. If you wanted to, the, which one is the next size? Um, now, that would work as there. Now, however, you have got the waist as well. It's not waist, it's a perfect circle with foam pads as well in there. So this is a way of using the, uh, the high tag adhesive sheets as well as the foam pads as well. It's just a foam, for not foam pads, for um, a, a, a for black sheets. 